All right, first thing is just uh, for the record, say your name and spell it. Lloyd Persley, L-L-O-Y-D, P-U-R-S-L-E-Y. And uh, tell me who you are. I'm the district ride captain with the Patriot Guard Riders here in Southwest Alabama. And tell us what's going on today. Well, we have completed our mission today in escorting Master Sergeant Joseph Cates to his final resting place here in Turnerville. Uh, it was a disappointment we didn't get to escort him when the flight landed the other night, but it is what it is. But we're happy to be here today for him and his family. For the few people there are who don't know what the Patriot Guard is, tell us about it. We are a uh, 501c nonprofit organization nationwide with about 225 to 230,000 members in all 50 states. Uh, our mission is to make sure that no veteran or police officer first responder ever goes home alone and we will escort them to their final resting place at the request of the family. So tell us how the Patriot Yard got started. It got started uh, years ago in Kansas when Westboro Baptist Church started protesting soldiers funerals in that community and there was a need for protection uh, against those type of protesters and a group of riders there in uh, Kansas uh, formed the Patriot Guard Riders. And why did you get involved? Well, both of my parents were World War II veterans. My father was with the Army Air Corps, and my mother was a WAC, and uh, I wish I had known about it before they had passed away, but uh, I got involved with it strictly for respect of these veterans, being a veteran myself. And um, about how many missions are you guys doing every week? Oh. Sometimes uh, one a week, sometimes five a week. Uh, in the six years that I've been with the Patriot Guard, I've done about 700. Um, I know it's kind of ironic because of all the noise behind us right now, but you guys uh, serve quietly in the background. Most people don't see or know what you're doing. That's true, and that's what we do. But we keep an eye out for anyone that might want to protest a funeral. We haven't seen it in years here in, in southwest Alabama. It doesn't seem like that would last very long. I, I know. Um, when the, the, um, the great niece of the guy we just escorted here said that, um, you know, she used to think guys running around on motorcycles and black leather vests were bad news. Um, but now this looks like a uniform for a bigger family. How does that make you feel? It is. I mean, we're composed of veterans and non-veterans, male, female. Some ride motorcycles, and like myself, I drive the support vehicle to carry the water and the flags and everything so that everybody has uh, whatever they may need when we arrive on, on the cemetery. And I, a lot of the times when people are out, there are more than four or five of us in a group Wearing these vests, it's usually something, and a lot of times it's helping veterans, right? Exactly. It is. It's definitely helping veterans, and that's what we'll continue to do. Why do you think that the biker community and the veteran community are so tied together? For respect. For respect of our veterans. I mean, we had uh, American Legion riders here today. We had combat veterans here today. Um, all of them are affiliations and organizations, but... Um, not many motorcycle clubs, not many MCs. Um, when you when you see people who um, aren't involved in the Patriot Guard, aren't related to the family members, right. show up, oh, how does that make you feel? Wonderful, wonderful. We encourage new members all the time. As a matter of fact, we've had a number of new members within the past three weeks. Uh, even yesterday when we had a funeral, we had about three new riders, and today we probably had about four new riders. And uh, it's an honor for us to uh, welcome them into the fold. And a lot of people forget that we're still fighting a war. True. And those they guys do. are coming back too. That's correct. We have a welcome home tomorrow for a Marine that is getting out of the Marine Corps, and we're going to welcome him at American Legion Post 88 on Halls Mill Road at 3 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. That's pretty awesome. Yes, it is. It's uh, it's probably a lot more fulfilling to welcome the guys home alive than uh, than what your normal missions are. Correct. It is. It really is, and it really uh, um, helps us a great deal in that not every one of our missions is a funeral. That's awesome.
All right, anything else that you wanted to say that I didn't ask you about? No, I'm fine, Chris. Okay. I appreciate your time. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks for, thanks for everything you do. Thank you. Th thank you so much.